Hello there, my beautiful Geminis, and welcome to your November mid-month love tarot reading with me, Miss Machiste. Gemini, we are looking into your love life for the second half of November. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, and do not forget to check your other chart placements on my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe and returning Geminis, welcome back. And thank you all for being here and for watching. Stick around towards the end of the reading. I will be getting each zodiac sign feelings for you. So Gemini, we are doing the you versus them spread. Please keep in mind that for some of you, Gemini and Gemini cross watchers, you may end up on their side. This reading may resonate backwards, reverse flip. So please assign the roles as you wish. Spirit, this is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in love for the second half of November. What's going on for my beautiful Geminis? All right, Gemini, in your energy, we have the Six of Cups, Simply Love, Water Energy. We have Awaiting Results, the Seven of Pentacles, Earth Energy. And we have Change Your Focus, the Five of Cups, More Water Energy. In the Mutual, we have Release, this is Death. Scorpio energy. We have strengthening bonds, the Ace of Pentacles, Earth energy, and we have nurture. This is the Empress coming in as Taurus Libra energy. Whoever you are connecting to comes in as the Eight of Wands, success and growth, Fire energy. They also have the Ace of Wands. New vitality, more fire. And they have trust. This is the Fool. Which is Aries energy. Alright, Gemini. So, in your energy we have the Six of Cups, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Five of Cups. Very large indication that your past wants back in and you are absolutely contemplating, thinking about it, weighing your options, weighing the pros and cons of this energy returning back in. Um, that's only for some of you. So first story, you definitely may have somebody from your past, somebody that things have ended with. There was a lot of endings and or changes with this person. Possibly wanting back in, you're still trying to figure out what you want to do though, so you don't really look like you're making a decision just yet per se, but you do look like you're contemplating about something. For others of you Geminis, if you are in a relationship, your person is, well, in, on your energy, it looks like somebody's trying to care for you, trying to love you, trying to be there for you. If you're in a relationship, there's a possibility you're trying to make a decision about what you're giving back to this person, how you reciprocate this person's love and affection. But it looks like somebody's trying to love you here, Gemini. Could be your person, a past person. Some of you definitely could be a newer person. And you may still be in process of getting over your past. Hence why you're still thinking about if this new energy is worth the risk. Whoever you're connected to, Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Fool. So they're attracted to you. They have love for you. They really want to spark something with you or re-spark something with you. They definitely have an offer here on the table. And they want to take a risk on this connection or to continuously take risks with you or on you. If you're in a relationship with this person, with them having the Fool... It definitely looks like they want a totally new beginning with you. If this is a past person, they absolutely want to start from scratch. If this is a newer energy. They're just coming in as the fool with some new energy. But in the mutual, we have death, the ace of pentacles, and the empress. So there are definitely offers on the table here that you are thinking about. Or whoever's on this side is definitely thinking about these offers. 
You both want to keep your sense of self, but you both want to see if this relationship can be worked on and or be successful in general if this is something newer. So let's clarify this, Spirit for Geminis. Spirit for Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Please clarify this for the second half of November in their love lives. For Gemini. All right, on the Six of Cups, we have the Page of Pentacles. All right, on the Seven of Pentacles, we have the Hermit. And on the Five of Cups, we have the World. Mutual Energy, we have Death with the Four of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles with the Sun, and the Nurture, no Nurture, the Empress with the Two of Wands. Whoever you're connecting to, Eight of Wands, Seven of Cups, Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands, the Fool, Six of Swords. Okay, Gemini. So if this is a past person, it looks like you're 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 possibly will engage with them. Um you may there's an offer here to see you with this page of pentacles. So if this is a past person, they definitely want to get together with you in the physical ace of pentacles and the mutual energy as well. They definitely want to move forward with you. Hmm. Some of you Geminis, you don't want to move or make decisions too quickly. So I don't really see you making a decision about this person's offers just yet, but you definitely may see what comes from it or feel it out. If this is a newer energy, you just you just still look like you're learning from your past. You look like you're still healing from your past. You look like you're still closing out cycles from your past. So that definitely may be why you are not engaging as strongly as the energy is available for you to do with this newer energy. And if this is your current person, they, they want to continue this connection. They definitely love you. They definitely care about you. But you still look like you're uncertain about if you want to continue this. With the Five of Cups, you may feel a sense of disappointment around expectations with this person. So you're kind of on the fence of if you do want this relationship still. But you're very highly thinking about decisions here. Whoever they are, they come in as a Seven of Cups, the Ten of Wands, and the Six of Swords. So this person has a lot of love for you, but I feel like your position towards them is confusing them very strongly with the Seven of Cups. I almost feel like they're burdened by trying to get into your energy sometimes. I feel like it's a little bit of a struggle this person has to deal with in trying to get you to open up or get you to give towards them as well, or just to get you to give them a chance. I feel like if you don't give them the chance, they will take the risk away from this energy and I, I get a sense of a sliver of hope though that maybe one day you'll give them a chance. So if this is a past person, they definitely look very heavily in trying things with you, but they also look very burdened and confused over your lack of decision making towards them. For others of you Geminis, if this is your person that you are in a relationship with, it's kind of the same sort of energy. It looks like they want to spark up some sort of conversation to maybe get that answer out of you, to have that healing, to have that movement forward, but they're still feeling a bit confused on where they stand with your energy. Definitely feeling discontent and or emotionally invalidated. Um, and if this is a new person... Same sort of thing. The energy kind of stays the same. It's just directed in different sort of ways. But if this is a new person, they do very much. They kind of may feel like you have options and that's why you're not choosing them to an extent. But whoever this is, they want to be chosen by you. 
They want to be your choice to who you want to be in a relationship with or this person wants you to make a choice on still continuing this connection. Mutual energy, four of cups, the sun, and the two of wands. So it looks like a decision will be made. I feel like there's still an energy around waiting though. So let's see. Spirit, clarify this bottom row for Gemini's. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Why is the world here? The two of wands and the six of swords for Gemini. It's interesting, too, is I feel like you and this person are, well, some of you, are okay on your own, but feel better together to a certain extent. We have the world with the king of wands. We have the two of wands with the king of cups and the six of swords with the nine of cups. Okay. So I do feel like for some of you Geminis with the king of wands here, you definitely may make a decision to continuously nurture this connection and see where it goes. I don't feel like you're making any final decisions like in terms of commitment or making it official. But with the Nine of Cups here, this person feels content on you just being in their energy and choosing to pursue them to whatever extent you're pursuing them. King of Cups is here. Definitely an indication that you two are trying to stay as controlled as possible, especially in the emotional front of things. I don't feel like they want to drown you in their emotion for you. And I feel like you're in a position of really trying to figure things out and really sitting in a wise, knowledgeable position where you're trying to use your lessons from your past to dictate the choice you make now. So nonetheless, Gemini, this person wants to be chosen by you. This is their wish, their fulfillment, their dream come true for Gemini to say, you're the one I want to be with or you're the one I want to be with forever and or to continue this relationship. So that's what they're hoping to hear for you, from you. I feel like since you are sitting in the position of the King of Wands, you'll still be in this person's energy to just continuously see for your own self. And it's going to make them feel like that sense of happiness. Well, Gemini's finally giving me this attention. Gemini's finally giving me their time that I've been wanting for so bad. For so long whatever the case may be so that's what i have here for you gemini in terms of zodiac signs i got aries i got taurus libra virgo leo and scorpio so gemini we are now going to be getting your oracle and then we will look into each zodiac signs feelings for you Spirit for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs in terms of love. Spirit in terms of love for the second half of November for Gemini. Spirit for Gemini in terms of love. What's going on for Gemini for the second half of November? All right, Gemini. So we have refocus. We have contemplation. I can't make this up. I see you thinking and thinking and thinking. And we have victim. Yeah, so you're in your you're in your head about the choice you're making. That may be why you're taking so long and choosing. Um you are a Gemini, which is mutable. You and Pisces are the only two zodiac signs that do have two I guess you could say energies or people for you. You are the twins. Pisces are the two fish. So you two are stereotypically the most indecisive of the zodiac. Um, and it looks like you're sitting in that indecision for sure. Spirit, please clarify this for Gemini. But you know, the mutable indecision of Pisces and Gemini come from the energy of not wanting to make the wrong choice and knowing that there are so many choices available because you are mutable and you can see that. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but for you, it may cause frustration. Refocus with offer. Yeah, you're not really even paying attention to it as much. Contemplation with lessons. Ooh, I said that specifically. Contemplating the lessons of your past. And victim with healing. So you will heal. 
you will feel better you will make that decision you will heal with this person or you will find that healing within and just feel a lot more better in your decision making process here gemini so all the way from aries to pisces i need each zodiac signs feelings for gemini all the way from aries to pisces Please show me each zodiac sign's feelings for Gemini all the way from Aries to Pisces. Aries feelings for you are the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are dealing with an Aries very focused on their money, not necessarily on the connection. Some of you definitely could be in a commitment with an Aries. If you already are there, they do feel comfortable with you. Taurus feelings for you, three of pentacles. So Taurus wants to work together with you. They want to be on the same page. They want to compromise with you. Possibly if you two had drama, they do want to feel a lot better in this connection. Gemini's feelings for you. Gemini are the hanged man. So Gemini's pretty stuck and not really sure what actions to take towards you. I mean, Gemini, you did look stuck your whole reading. So I'm not surprised you came out as the hanged man no matter what. Resonate with whatever way you want to resonate that with. You are Gemini. Cancer's feelings for you. Queen of Swords. So Cancer is acting very detached, very independent, very analytical and logical. They're still open to talking to you, but they're definitely sitting in an independent position. If you're in a relationship with a Cancer, you may just feel like they're very detached right now emotionally. Leo's feelings for you. Six of Pentacles. Leo is feeling... Very good in your energy. They want to give. They want to receive. They want to feel the sense of balance and reciprocation from you. Virgo's feelings for you are the nine of wands. So Virgo does have a wall up between you and their energy. They may be struggling right now in making this connection work. Or they just feel like they need to put a wall up to save themselves hurt. Libra's feelings for you are the Hierophant. So if you are not already committed to a Libra, you definitely may be going down the road towards commitment. For some of you, you may go to school and work with a Libra. Scorpio's feelings for you, Ten of Pentacles. If you're not married and in a relationship with a Scorpio, they definitely are focused on their family and materialistic growth, opposed to the connection. If you are married in a relationship with a Scorpio, they definitely view you as somebody that they can marry or be with for a very long time. Sagittarius feelings for you are the Nine of Cups. So Sagittarius feels very emotionally content in your energy or you are their wish fulfillment. Next is Capricorn's feelings for you as the devil. This is Capricorn's energy. So there could be some sort of obsession, some sort of toxicity and codependency between you and Capricorn. Capricorn may feel like you are this way or Capricorn may be this way. Aquarius feelings for you are the king of swords. So Aquarius is definitely very cold, very detached, maybe not even in Aquarius's energy. You may feel cut off by an aqua or just feeling like they're giving you the cold shoulder. And Pisces feelings for you are the Ace of Swords. So new communication coming from a Pisces. Some of you, a Pisces just feels like they have clarity on this connection and where they stand with you. For others of you, definitely getting better communication or having better conversation with your Pisces. So let's see, make sure everyone's out. All right, thank you, Gemini, for being here and for watching. I hope you have a wonderful second half of November. And I'll talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.